Hello friends, this video on chemical coordination and integration part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us talk about the next important endocrine gland that is the thyroid gland. So where is the thyroid gland located? It is present at the base of larynx. Larynx is what? It is nothing but the voice box. So if you look at the thyroid gland, this purple colored gland which is a butt, which is shaped in the form of a butterfly and is, it is located slightly below the neck region and it, it appears to be brownish red in color and it is located, it has two lobes on either side of the trachea. What is trachea? This is trachea. This is the trachea that is the windpipe. We have discussed about trachea, right? So if you see there is one lobe on one side of trachea and one lobe on the other side. So total we have two lobes on either side of the trachea. And how are these two lobes connected? They are connected by a bridge like structure. So this structure is the bridge. So the structure actually looks like this. So this is one lobe, this is another lobe and this is the bridge. And this bridge is known as the isthmus. So the bridge is called isthmus. So what is this isthmus? It is nothing but a piece of connective tissue which connects the two lobes of the uh, uh, thyroid gland. So the lobes are interconnected by isthmus which is nothing but connective tissue. So isthmus is connective tissue. What is it composed of? It is composed of follicles and stromal tissues. Now what are follicles? Follicles are nothing but they are small spherical cells with a cavity. It is like some um, cyst kind of a structure where you have small cells all put together. They, they form a spherical structure and they have a hollow inside or they have a cavity so that they are follicles and what do we mean by stromal tissues it is derived from the word stroma stromal is derived from the greek word stroma and stroma means covering so it is stroma refers to the connective tissue cells of any organ so basically they act as the covering so if you look at the composition of thyroid gland they have many uh, spherical cell kind of structure called follicles and they have a covering on those follicles which are called the stromal tissues this gland is very rich in blood vessels so that means they are well connected to the blood vessels now let us look at the hormones produced by the thyroid gland. Let us now study about the hormones secreted by the thyroid gland. So the first hormone that is secreted by the thyroid gland is thyroxine or tetraiodothyronin. So this is the first thyroid hormone secreted by the thyroid gland. So as the name says it is tetraiodothyronin. So the thyronin group with four iodines. So here you can see in the structure also you will be able to see four iodine groups. Similarly the next one is triiodothyronine that is there are three iodine group with the thyronine. So here you can see there are one, two, three, four. So this is tetraiodothyronine. Here if you see there is one, two and three. So this is triiodothyronine. So this is T3 and this is T4. Now let us look at the function of these T3 and T4 hormones. Now both of them help in cellular oxidation that is the process of oxidizing the uh, glucose in order to release energy in the form of ATP molecules that is called cellular oxidation which takes place inside each and every cell. So these hormones help in the process of cellular oxidation. They also help in carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism because during the process of oxidation it also helps in breaking down these complex substances into their simplest forms. They support the process of RBC formation and RBC formation is something which is very very critical for the survival of living organisms. So they also support the process of RBC formation, maintains water and electrolyte balance. So the amount of water is controlled, it, it should neither be less nor be more. So that means also these hormones play a very important role. There is another hormone which is secreted by the thyroid gland which is thyrocalcitonin which is often written in short form as TCT. 
thyrocalcitonin. So what does these hormone do? So it has its name as calci, which is related to calcium. So its function is to regulate the calcium and phosphate level in blood. So and this is also very very important because calcium and phosphorus they are one of the important constituents of our bones. So if there is deficiency of calcium, uh, a person might have problems with his bones. So that means the level of calcium and phosphorus should be maintained in the blood and thyrocalcitonin helps in that. So these are some of the hormones secreted by the thyroid gland. It, it decreases the level when it goes up. As I said, the hormones or uh, these kind of uh, nut nutrients inside our body, they should be present in the right amount. If it is in excess, that is also a problem. If it is less, that also is going to create a problem. Now, what can happen if there are abnormalities with the thyroid hormones? Now, abnormal thyroid hormone production can cause diseases like hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. So, these are some of the diseases that can be caused if too much of thyro thyroid hormones are produced or too less thyroid hormones are produced. So, let us see what are each of them. Now, as I said, you, you saw in the structure of both T3 and T4 that iodine is an important constituent. So, it has been observed that iodine is needed for the synthesis of thyroid hormones. So, iodine is very, very critical. Now, if there is deficiency of iodine inside the body, in that case, the thyroid hormones will not be synthesized. So, in that case, there will be a scarcity of the thyroid hormones, be it T3 or T4 or thyrocalcitonin. So, Deficiency of iodine can cause several problems. One of them is it can cause swelling of the thyroid gland which is known as goiter. And this situation is known as hypothyroidism. Hypo means less. The word hypo itself, it means less. Hypo means less. <coughs> So if iodine is less, in that case, what will happen? The thyroid hormone will also be less. If the thyroid hormone is less, that means it is hypothyroidism. And lack of iodine will cause swelling of the neck portion due to the swelling of the thyroid gland, which is known as goiter. In the picture, you can see how it looks when somebody suffers from goiter. So swelling of neck due to malfunctioning of the thyroid gland, as I said, uh, it, it can also cause a disease in children which is called cretinism and what happens in cretinism? Cretinism is retarded growth in children. That means the physical growth as well as the mental growth in children is retarded. It is not proper. It doesn't happen properly. So and that disease is known as cretinism and this also happens due to the lack of thyroid hormones and thyroid hormones are uh, lacking due to the lack of iodine. It can also result in abnormal skin, so there can be diseases on the skin. Let us look at the next abnormality that is hyperthyroidism. So this happens when too much of thyroid hormones are synthesized and secreted. So the word hyper itself means too much, more. So when more thyroid hormones are being synthesized, that, that results in hyperthyroidism. So this condition arises due to situations like cancer or nodule development of thyroid gland. Because what happens in diseases like cancer, there is unwanted growth of cells inside the body. So if in and around the thyroid gland, if there are unwanted growth of cells or tissues, that means those additional cells of the thyroid gland are also going to produce the thyroid hormones. So as a result, excess thyroid hormones are going to get produced and hyperthyroidism will happen. So it has adverse effects on the body physiology. Now when too much of thyroid hormones are there, that means too much of uh, those chemicals. So now we needed it only for metabolism of certain things and they had some specific purpose. Now when too much of them is there, that means whatever is needed that is utilized but the extra amount gets accumulated in the body and this accumulation causes disbalance inside our body and results in a number of problems. So the entire, so the entire body physiology balance gets disturbed. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, 
find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.